know you won't hold it against me. I, I took a day off just to calm down after the last episode. We had full mic down mode. But I'm over it now. We're back. And guess what? I've won most of the games off of camera again. So, can I actually record a win on camera? Let's see. Certainly West Brom and Millwall. So, not easy. But then there are no easy games in the championship, and that's what makes it so exciting. Uh, in terms of how we've been off of camera, um, yeah, okay, I guess, really. And by that, I mean we've won pretty much the majority of games, except for away at St. James's Park and away at Reading. Again, away against the bigger teams in the division, we are struggling a bit. Um, which in some ways is good because it means that we're going to play them all at home in the second half of the season. So in that respect, I'm looking forward to it. And speaking of bigger teams, we have got one ex-Premier League team here today in terms of West Brom. I was going to come back for the Newcastle game, but I kind of thought it'd be a bit too close, especially with the fact I wanted to include Brighton, uh, who we've got away in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal in the next episode before the end of the week. So I'm going to include them and title winners at the moment Nottingham Forest they're topping the table they have an absolutely blinding start to the season too many draws too many draws if you are a Brentford fan only three defeats not bad too many draws that should have been wins but along the way we have beaten Preston Barnsley uh, Bristol City Sheffield Wednesday and Birmingham so we're currently on a two game win streak uh, three in four if you're looking at it there and ultimately we're, we're having a pretty decent season but I kind of get the impression it could be better the team's beginning hopefully to gel a bit more though and I want to get my first real scalp of the season in terms of beating one of the bigger clubs so with that in mind I've kind of gone with this lineup today uh, we've got a couple of injury warriors in Billy Gilmore and uh, Brian and Buemo. They neither of them are playing but the rest of the team sort of picks itself a little bit at the moment. Uh, Woodman is in goal. Henry, Carter, Vickers, Tanganga and Williams make up the back four. We formed quite a decent defensive partnership for the most part. Rico Henry's form has dropped off the face of a cliff because he's not happy. Since I turned down that move to West Ham, he's not been very pleased. Uh, then you've got Campbell, who's coming in the ball-winning midfielder role. And he's had a very good season so far. Played at a 7.06. He's doing quite well. Lanzini is the attacking playmaker. He's probably been our standout player this season so far. Uh, Matty Longstaff gets a start in the middle of midfield as well as he begins to build back up match sharpness and match fitness. Curtis Jones is on the left. Uh, Simon Golos is on the right. And Adam Ida is leading the line up front as always. And as always, I mean this season. But he's had a brilliant season so far. They've still got some decent players. Obviously, we face an old friend in Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony makes his return to the Brentford Community Stadium. It's going to get a little heated. There's going to be a lot of tackles flying in. A lot of our players that think, oh, you think you're better than us, do you? Um, going on here. In which case, hopefully we can flatten him. If he scores, I'm going to be so gutted. But Woodman makes a decent save in the first couple of minutes. Well done, mate. The first couple of minutes in the first minute. Woodman hits it long, looking for Curtis Jones. Great first touch from Curtis. Goes around his man on the outside. First of all, can I just score a goal on camera? And yes, we can. As Salmon Goddess makes a brilliant finish from a superb Curtis Jones run. Great uh, distribution by Woodman, by the way, uh, from the goal kick. Well, it wasn't a goal kick, but from claiming that, uh, claiming that uh, ball in. Very good. It's that first touch that kills it. Curtis just absolutely roasts his man. On his wrong foot, picks out a great ball. Great first touch by Golos on his left foot. Opens onto his right and bangs it in the top corner. We're 1-0 up within a minute. Get in. I've scored on camera. Got to say, Sam Johnson's a goalkeeper. If I go up and the West Brom don't, he's definitely a goalkeeper I might try and buy. Because he's obviously Premier League standard. So he's definitely one I could be able to get on a bargain. I'm going to go off attacking and we're going to go positive a bit. I've been a little bit more careful in games recently to not overdo it. The important thing is that we keep an eye on Nottingham Forest and Sheffield United. They're the two teams that are ahead of us at the moment. Both of them are drawing, but obviously it's early days in all the games as it stands. And West Brom's still got a lot in the tank because Roberts finds a good ball there out to Leon, who seems to be doing a bit of a job on me at the back post. There is Callum Robinson heading it in. It didn't last long. 1-1. One, one. 
It's a good throwback goal. It's good work from the Mir Roberts. That's the ball that really makes the chance. And can Leonu, who's a very good player, can he find him out of the back post? He whips it in. Robinson's there. Woodburn's got no chance. He can't follow that ball. 1-1 from the second shot on goal, of course. Oh, Curtis Jones looks like he's been fouled there. He has, and Adam Eno's going to take the penalty. Leon's having a very mixed game, I have to say. We've gone back attacking, by the way. Come on, Adam Ida. He has... Or Adam Eda, sorry. He, I've been advised it is Eda because uh, he's Irish, and that's how you say it. Adam Eda tucks it away. 2-1. It feels weird saying Eda, but we'll go with it. It's his 19th goal of the season. It's not even Christmas yet. He's having an absolute blinder. Brilliant finish. Ivan Tony. who needs you, mate? Who needs you? Very, very happy with this, and that is exactly the response I wanted. Get pegged back a little bit against the run of play, go back up the other end and score a goal. Godos plays a bill into Campbell. Great take by Campbell. Campbell down. Oh, no, it's Longstaff. Longstaff to Lanzini. Into Godos. Godos running at his man now. Goes around the outside. Godos. Can he pick a ball in? He has Matty Longstaff. Heads it. It's gone just white. I would have been very surprised if that got in because he got no power behind it whatsoever. Rico Henry into Longstaff. Longstaff carry it forward. Finds Curtis. Curtis Jones on the ball. Curtis drifts inside. Lovely bit of play. Finds a great bite to Godos. He's been the outlet all day. Godos goes around the right side. Tees about. Manuel Lanzini tees it in. There's Curtis Jones. He's had a very, very good start to the season. A very good first half in this game. And that's his sixth goal of the season. Makes it 3-1. Manuel Lanzini is absolutely dominating this league. He is so good. It's unreal. Love this from Godos. He's been brilliant. And brilliant ball by Man Lanzini. Finds him first time. Curtis is there. All he needs to do is tuck it away from short range. He does it very easily. Don't let them get a second before half time. They whip it in. It's hit the post and Godos clears it. Not good. Well, a decent first half. 3-1. I mean, this is what I've wanted. I've wanted us to play some exciting football. This is what I've wanted for so long. It's just to play some attacking football, get some goals, and actually show you guys what we can do, what I see when we're off of camera. It's so nice to finally see us put a team in their place. Maybe we're just really good at home this year in comparison to away. Forrester losing, which is great news. I do expect them to slightly drop off. Maybe it's not fair saying that, but I do expect Forrest to sort of drop away. Sheffield United, not as much, but Forrest... I do expect them to fall away a little bit. They're obviously playing a kind of a little bit above their station. They've got good players, but not really good enough to be topping this league with the teams that are in it, if that makes any sense. May Longstaff's not had his best day out, though, so on comes Josh De Silva, and I'm also going to take off Manuel Lazzini. On comes Bubakari Sumer, uh, and he's going to sit in that midfield section. It's been a little while. He's been injured for a bit of a, a, bit of a while. I've let him come back on, get his fitness back up. Let's just not do anything stupid. Roberts hits it long towards Wallace. Wallace on the ball, and he's given the ball away to Josh De Silva. Good to see him back as well after a little period of um, uh, fitness. And there's Adam Eder making it for Terrible bit of contrast. Stutted. You know who didn't? Adam Eder. Bubakar Sumar with a fan. Is it Sumar or Sumer? Or Sumar? Either way, it's a great ball in. He's picked up Adam Eder. 4 1. This is more like it. I love that from De Silva. There's Sumer. That's the quality. What a ball. What a bit of control, by the way. It's literally like he had it glued to his chest. Took it down brilliantly. Stupendous finish. Brentford are on a roll. So far, scored in the last minute. Maybe they're not going away. Sheffield United obviously won their game 1-0, but we've put out a little bit of a statement there with a big win over West Brom, who now drop out of the playoffs. Good. Very good. Ivan Tony didn't even, didn't even touch the ball. Didn't even touch the ball in that game. Very, very pleased. And hopefully if we do the same against Millwall, we put ourselves in a very good position going towards the halfway point of the season. Very good indeed. Right, well, Millwall are up next. And I have to say, this is all. I don't want to undo all the good work we just did against West Brom by dropping points here. Uh, Brandon Williams has been very good recently this season, but I think he does need a bit of a rest, um, I've been told. So Finn Stevens is going to come in. Uh, back on camera. Looking at the rest of it, um, I might bring on... I'm going to bring on Embuema for Brereton just to maybe give us a little bit more in the way of options. Matty Longstaff hasn't made a very good start rate to his career, but I want to give him a little bit more of a go because um, he didn't play badly in the game that's just been. It's going to take him a little while to kind of get himself back up fit and running. Looking at Millwall, Mendes Lang's difficult. De Carmine is quite a good player, but uh, this is a game we should win. Really, we should win this. I think we're kicking off a bit early by the looks of things because we've got one game over Sheffield United and Nottingham Forest. It looks like we've kicked off a little bit earlier than uh, 
definitely the Sheffield United because their game's here. So maybe Forest play tomorrow. We've made a very good start to the game, very fast, and we've dominated possession and all the shots so far. As Curtis Jones goes down the left-hand side again, he's having a very, very good campaign. I'm so glad I brought him in. Brilliant from Curtis. Finds Rico Henry. Rico dances around his man. Henry squares it all the way back to Campbell. He's made a big difference as well, winning the ball back in that midfield. Henry to the byline, nearly falls to Curtis Jones. He tees it. Manuel Lanzini, I've told you before, and I'll tell you again, this boy will tear up the championship, and he is. That's his sixth goal, 50th goal of his career, which I didn't know. Um, very Well, good for you, mate. Um, brilliant from Rico Henry. Dances down the line. Bounces around a little bit. Curtis Jones does great. Great back heel. And there's Lanzini on his wrong foot just to steer it in. Mill at sixes and sevens. We're one nil up already. And I'm going four points behind the other two. Very, very exciting. Long stuff on the ball. Whips it in. Godos at the back post. Not quite. I wouldn't normally play Godos. Normally I'd play in Buena, But Godos has actually been in such good form. It's kind of hard for me to drop him at the moment. All you need to do is look at the stats on that left-hand side. And you can see we are absolutely battering Millwall in this game. We just need that second goal. And I think that that will probably maybe be game over. But every time they've got an opportunity like this, I'm panicking. Mr. Carmine hits it over the bar. It's a pretty good effort, to be fair. And there's a little, a little warning sign. Just a little warning sign. I'm going to go back to positive. Let's just not over-egg everything. Let's just calm down. Just play for time. Let's control the game. If we win easily, brilliant. If we have to grind it out, fine. I guess I'm happy with the performance so far. I know we can play better, but I don't want to put that pressure on the boys. Let's just say for the time being that we're doing enough. Jones on the ball here. Stands his man up. Curtis Jones drifts out wide. Bends it. Brilliant save by Blaskowski. I think that's how you say it. He's the old uh, Southampton keeper. Nearly genius from Curtis Jones, too, I have to say is in a little bit of a purple patch right now as he spreads the ball out to Manuel Lanzini. He plays it back to Godos. Godos gets tackled. Not his best bit of work, but we win the ball back there from Mendes Lang. We're just recycling possession so well. Adamida having a bit of a quiet game at 6.4. Not his best bit of work. He's going to come off, I think. Take him off. I'm going to bring on Piccoli. And I'm going to get him on the old target man uh, attack. See how we get on there. He's complaining a bit about the lack of game time Piccoli, which is understandable. He's a very good player, and I've probably not done him justice as Jaffa Tanganga makes it 2-0. That's the goal I was looking for. Sam Angolos gets yet another assist. His set-piece delivery is second to none uh, in this division anyway. He is the championship Trent, as Troy Deeney equalises annoyingly for Sheffield United against Preston. On comes Kinder and Buemo. I'm going to swap him and Godos. So Godos goes over to the left and Buemo is on the right. Have to give Curtis Jones a bit of a rest. He's been very good, but Preston have taken the lead again against Sheffield United. Get in. Well done, Preston. 3-1 now. So you'd like to think Sheffield United are definitely going to lose their game. It's 2-0 here. It's been insanely comfortable for us. They've not really offered anything going forward. Been very, very easy. Newcastle equalised against Derby. I don't care about that. All I care about is the top three or four. And results have gone our way today. Apart from Bournemouth winning, results have gone our way. That's great news. That's four wins in a row. Five in six, if you want to be a little bit more or we'll look a little bit further around. Very, very good. And next time, it won't be long till we meet up again. And that's because we're going to be playing Brighton and Nottingham Forest. Two teams with massive massive challenges ahead of us i have to say if we can beat brighton we're in the Carabao cup semi-final which would be amazing but in some ways i'm almost saving myself more for this game against nottingham forest this is going to be the one that we need to win they've got two players playing brilliant at the moment yao cavalio or yao cavalio is a sensational football he's very very good and they've got a young well not a young chap they've got a chap here called uh, nuno da costa you can tell, actually, he's uh, he's got decent pace and he's got good finishing, good in the air. He's a pretty good all-round player, the Cape Verdean. But he's not Adam Eder, is he? No, no, he's not. So there you have it. We're three points behind Sheffield United, four points behind Nottingham Forest. So Forest do have a game in hand. But can we beat them next time out, along with Brian in the Carabao Cup? Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do to drop a like on the video, share, subscribe. Let me know where you think we are going to finish in the table. Can we get automatically promoted? Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Until I see you again, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. And stay cool. Excellent.